I think this is a spectacular time in the development of cancer immunotherapy. I mean, we see clinical activity of a number of drugs in patients. We also know there's still many things to learn from fundamental mechanisms, how cancer cells and immune cells interact. I think this is a great forum to get together and discuss those things. The field of immuno-oncology is quite special in the sense that there's both very rapid developments in academia, but also in biotech and in pharma. So I think actually there are opportunities for people on the different sides. So I think the meeting will also be a very nice opportunity for people to actually look what fits best with their interests. It's really important to meet at least once a year because the progress in this field is so rapid. There's so many industry partners, there's so many clinical partners that have got new data and people need to be abreast of this new data. They need to understand and include this new information in clinical trials moving forward. The publication record doesn't keep up with this, this time frame. We can't publish fast enough, so in order to appropriately share all the data, it requires really face-to-face -face meetings. This meeting is relatively small compared to a meeting like the AACR annual meeting, and it provides an opportunity where they can engage all the, uh, the leaders in the field. And so I think this is one of the unique aspects of this meeting. Yeah, I think in addition, the meeting also covers all the essential aspects of tumor immune interaction. So it would really be a great way for young people to get exposure to all the different aspects uh, of the field. One area where there's really significant development is also understanding how uh, metabolism in tumors can influence immune activity. I think that's also an area where I expect significant breakthroughs at the conference. There's really a lot of advances in the ability to get a good insight or get good insights into uh, the tumor microenvironment, what's going on in the tumor. Now, the reason why this is important is because we believe this is going to hold the secrets for how to combine different drugs together to improve responses. And so to get a lens into the tumor microenvironment, this whole idea about genomics is critical. And we're at a time now in the technological development of the field where we can really pick apart the tumor and look really, really with a close lens at understanding how all the pieces of the tumor fit together. I think the field of immuno-oncology is a perfect example of what the value is in, in investing in fundamental research. All the major breakthroughs that we're now making and seeing in patients, they're the result of fundamental research, fundamental understanding of how the immune system works that were made over the past one or two decades. Something that's a unique opportunity in the field right now is because so much has been learned going from the bench to the bedside, we now have a real opportunity to go the other way. Because so much is being done in clinical trials now, we have, as, as Ton said, we have the ability to drill down deep and understand how the patients are responding to different therapies. But in order to take this another step further, what it will mean is that we're gonna to have to take this information that we're learning from the patients, go back to mouse models or other models and really explore what are the other possibilities to link and improve uh, cancer responses. I think the AECR plays a critical role in this field. There, it's really, really important in terms of understanding the biology of cancer. You really have to bring all these experts together in the same form. And it provides us a way to link into this multiple disciplinary aspects of, of cancer biology. There's no other meeting that really does this at the basic science level and brings it forward to the clinical side.